Yo, John Fitch here. I got a, I don't know if it's a fun thing to talk about, but it's, uh, it's weird. So yeah, I didn't really want to make this video, but I didn't see any other option. Uh, it was all through my timeline all over the place and I feel like it needs to be talked about. And I know this video is, uh, actually really kind of hypocritical because I'm doing exactly the thing I'm criticizing these people of, but, uh, I'm going to try not to screech as loud about my complaints, but I think this is just some funny, funny business here. I went to this conference back in October last year, and it was a men's conference, 21 Con. And it was a bunch of guys talking about guy stuff, helping guys figure out how to be better men. And it was pretty great. It was pretty awesome. There's a lot of guys out there who didn't have fathers around when they were kids, and they never learned a lot of those things that they're teaching this conference. They've done a lot of these conferences. They've been doing it for a decade, about, I think. It was a good experience. So the guys decided to do another one, but this time they're going to focus on women. You know, maybe there's some women out there who, who didn't have men in their life that were positive and could tell them positive things. Maybe a different point of view could be accepted. What was created was the, uh, the 22 con, which is convention of male speakers speaking to exclusively women. And I don't know why this would be a problem. And if anybody thinks it's dumb or isn't interested in it, would, I would think why they wouldn't just uh, scroll past it. Right? I, I see stuff all the time. If I saw an organization of women getting together and it was going to be a bunch of women speakers talking to men, I, I just keep scrolling. I wouldn't, 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 wouldn't register at all. This particular thing freaked a lot of people out, got a lot of people upset, at least by, by people, I mean feminists. So I'm sharing my timeline on Twitter with some of these people and what the reactions were. Carletta J. Vaughn says, idiots, any woman that attends is a fool. Tickets cost $19.99 and are only sold to women. All of the speakers are men. Why are women idiots? Why wouldn't you want to go? I mean, if they, why wouldn't you want to go and listen to people talk? If you thought there was something missing and you needed some information, I don't understand why that's, why that's a thing that you have to be a fool to go to. I mean, maybe, you know, the sticker price is a little high for you, but scroll, just scroll. See, watch, I'm going to do it now. See, I can just scroll. I can just scroll. Oh, okay, it's gone. But uh, yeah, another one here, another, and these are all blue checks. Katie Fang, uh, men prefer debt-free virgins without tattoos. Uh, is that, is it, where's the lie? Where's the lie? Men prefer debt-free virgins without tattoos. Where's the lie? If you could choose, you'd probably choose that over somebody who's got a high body count and has tattoos from head to toe that has $100,000 worth of debt. That is uh, true. Uh, and they're all re re referring to this article. And we'll get into that article in a second. Uh, I just want to show the amount of outrage and kind of hate thrown at these guys. Liz Plank says, this is what happens when femininity gets an upgrade, but masculinity doesn't. Ooh, so men are weak, I guess. And it's an insult towards men because they want to help women be better because women couldn't possibly not be perfect. Right? Women are perfect. Kimberly Johnson says, mansplaining convention coming to Orlando promises to make women great again. <laughs> Tickets cost $90 are only sold to women. All the speakers are men. Again, why why such a problem with that? Yeah, there's always even more hate in the comments. Who else? Okay. Mr. Black U. Uh, sausage party. It's a white knight. Marlena Fitzpatrick Garcia. Tickets are only sold to women. All the speakers are men. Uh, so I'm guessing she's not a fan. Another check mark. Why Why do blue checks care so much about men doing a conference? Brian J. Jones, not a parody. Is he talking about himself? Is he the parody? New York Times bestselling biographer of guys behind Sleepy Hollow, Muppets, Star Wars. Oh, man. Ah, Star Wars. Okay, buddy. Quet, another blue check. It says, look out, ladies. Our wishes are about to be granted. Again, why Why are they creeps? Again, would, would a woman's group of speakers talking to men, would that raise the same amount of concern. Like it looks like a pretty diverse crowd. But Juan Escalante says, Florida mansplaining convention coming to Orlando promises to wait, make women great again. Juan, undocumented immigrant. Okay. These all seem to be left focused people. Why are they so unhappy all the time? And that they hate everything. Uh, and this is what's crazy is that, uh, hey, so in this, the, the, the URL doesn't work anymore. This uh, Facebook post, he posted this stuff on Facebook and it, it, reached, it reached an ungodly number of people, something like uh, 2.6 million impressions or something like that. Pretty, pretty wild. They ended up with their hate, they ended up giving it a huge platform. Now more people 
know about it than before. There it is. This one. Feminist re over make women great again. 2.6 million people. They they got 2.6 million impressions on their on their on their uh, on their Facebook post. Or just Facebook, not all the other impressions put together. Lisa Amore, seriously, the success the 22 convention is destined to be mansplaining event of the century. Sorry guys, women don't need to be made great again. I mean Everybody thinks they're, they really think they're perfect. Jennifer Wright, another blue check says, tickets to this conference were men to tell you make unlimited babies. <laughs> Cost $2,000. One way you, a woman, can make your life great is to spend that $2,000 on literally anything else. More heat from blue check world. A father's journey, this says, I can only imagine a conference where women talk to men would be championed as men learning all about that perspective. But a conference of men talking to women, mansplain. Yeah, pretty much agree with that take. Another blue check, Clementine Ford says, we're only 14 hours into 2020 and already we've found the most pathetic thing that'll happen this year. Imagine being such a loser. I don't know. Ladies, are you a loser for wanting to go to this conference? Am I wrong? I'm thinking that you're not a loser because you you maybe want a different perspective. Maybe if your life's unfulfilling. Maybe it's not the uh, another dog or another trip or another random uh, hookup that's going to satisfy you. Maybe there's another perspective that you haven't heard for some reason. Maybe you should give it a try. Maybe you don't know everything. Is that possible? I don't know anything. I don't know. I don't know much of anything. Maybe I should sit down and listen to uh, a group of women talk. But I feel like I've been doing that my whole life. I feel like all through school and education, that was all we got was just the explanation from the women's point of view and backed up by effeminate men. So now let's take a look at uh, one of the articles that was written that most people were complaining about here from the Orlando Weekly. Okay, mansplaining convention coming to make or coming to Orlando promises to make women great again. Organizers say it's destined to be the mansplaining event of the century. Brought to you by the same Orlando-based bros who host the 21 convention to actualize the ideal man. The 22 convention is coming to make women great again. The May 1 through 3rd event will be held at an Orlando location disclosed to only those who pay for admission. Tickets cost uh, $1,000. There's a sale for $999 and are only sold to women. All of the speakers are men. <sighs> How dare they? How dare they? <laughs> How dare those men speak to women? Uh, women today are being taught to act more like men. I could agree with that. Says the 22 convention website, which they say has led to divorce, depression, dysfunction, and rampant single motherhood. No longer will you have to give into toxic bullying, feminist dogma, and go against your biological nature, say organizers. Mansplainers on hand to redirect the wayward women in attendance include convention founder Anthony Johnson, whose bio says his mission is to destroy the feminist establishment. Alexander Cortez, described as a fitness guru and modern day philosopher, winning the minds of men and the hearts of women and other right-wing personalities with hundreds of thousands of followers on Twitter and Facebook, which are definitely not Russian bots like those of men's rights activists and 21 convention speaker Mike Cernovich. So they think, they're trying to say that anybody who even supports, anybody even supports any of these guys is a Russian bot. Like, why do they pull why is russia trying to <laughs> destroy feminism is that what's happening is that what's happening really that's what's going on is uh there russia is using this technology to uh to make people think that <laughs> to do what these people are mental this stuff challenges their their ego investment on what they believe the world should be rather than what it really is so much that they they're they're screeching this is a re this is absolutely certifiably a re topics the men will discuss include the ills of feminism the war on motherhood beauty and obesity love and dating getting pregnant and having unlimited babies getting in shape beating the competition to become the ultimate wife and boosting femininity i mean why is, is that that's bad that's a bad thing is that a bad thing I don't know if I had daughters to make sure they, they got that too. They'd get the other stuff, but they'd get that too. Shouldn't they have a choice? Why is it only one direction? The preview picture next to the femininity topic of a smiling woman with a statement that men prefer debt-free virgins without tattoos. Their message is when women do anything that these bros doesn't like, anything that goes against the most antiquated notions of women, 
It's a woman acting like a man, whatever acting like a man means. And a woman acting this way confuses the order of things and ruins the world, say organizers. Only men can say what is proper womanly behavior. I would think that a man can say what a man likes in a woman. Isn't it, isn't it men who are attracted to them? Aren't we allowed to be attracted to what we're attracted to? I don't think you're allowed to tell us what we're supposed to be attracted to. I mean, I guess if you have no interest in attracting a man whatsoever, that's fine. The 22 convention, the story of feminist liberation is reversed, revealed to be a narrative of propaganda that's led millions of women down a path of endless heartbreak, dead-end relationships. Other people like actual women might say feminism has opened their eyes to the treachery that is life consumed by winning the favor of idiot men. <laughs> Why? What? What? What uh, experience do you have with men? Why do you think they're all idiots? I think you need to upscale the men you're hanging out with. A woman being comfortable in her skin and not bending over backwards to give Anthony Johnson a boner isn't just making Johnson and other locker room talkers feel bad. They want you to know it's really, really bad for the ladies too. I mean, they automatically attack and then misconstrue. Why would they have to, why is it all about as a boner? It's not about just giving them a boner. I mean, being attractive is more than just giving somebody a boner. It's trying to control your mind. Don't let them control your mind. Fittingly, organizers have scheduled men to come first with the 21 conventions and second patriarch editions starting on April 30th and the 22nd convention, world's ultimate event for women. Starting on May 1st, both run through May 3rd. There is a discount for women buying tickets to both with 21 promising your man will walk out a certified badass, 100% leading your family and relationship forever. So yeah, why not? Why isn't there a big attack against the patriarch uh, edition where they're talking about being father? They're more concerned about telling women what to do than fathers? I don't know. It's all garbage. <laughs> Do what you want to do, people. Do what you want to do. If you want to be a mom, be a mom. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Don't be influenced by them. If you want to have sex with a bunch of people? Like, that's great. But don't think <laughs> that you're going to come back from that and life's going to be normal. What good is a, a lock that's opened by every key? We also have this article. Pretty interesting. It's a little more angry. Wonket.com. Interesting. I don't know anything about this website. Is this even a legitimate website or is just somebody make this up for one article? Uh, the internet's most repulsive men are throwing a make women great again convention. And oh my God, it's so sad. So like if women actually go to this is like, are they not allowed to be women anymore? Are they going to be beaten up by the mean girls trying to boss them around right in the headline? They're repulsive men. They're repulsive. So you, you need to hate them because they're repulsive because they want to help women. <laughs> they want to help men. They're repulsive. Okay. And uh, they're so sad. Because, yeah, it's sad when people try to help other people and, and use facts to do it. Coming this May to a convention center of some kind in Orlando, Florida, the most repulsive and least self-aware men on the entire Internet will come together to finally teach women a lesson, a lesson in how to be the woman of their dreams. Again, why are why do men women have a monopoly on telling women what men like? I mean, a lot of women like men. A lot of women like to be around men. There's a lot of women who like to have kids. So uh, wouldn't it make a little bit of sense for women to ask a guy what they're looking for? Uh, I think it makes sense. So uh, you can learn all the secrets to reeling in the kind of man who sits on YouTube all day, whining about how women aren't all barefoot and pregnant anymore. Men like Stefan Malinu, Mike Cernovich, and organizer Anthony Dream Johnson, who claims he is the first president of the manosphere, along with a bunch of other creepy dudes you've never even heard of and definitely have no interest in speaking to for more than five minutes, never mind marrying. Uh, most of the, a lot of these guys are married. Cernovich is married. Two kids. Uh, Stefan Malin, who's married, has a daughter, I think. Again, baseless tax. I don't understand why it's such a big deal. The conference is called 22 Convention. We don't know why. And features the tagline, Make Women Great Again. According to the website, it is destined to be the mansplaining event of the century. Um, yeah, femininity over feminism. I agree with that. Not even all women identify as feminists. Yeah, man. This is just, it's just why, why so angry? You know, that gets to my point. People are allowed their opinions, but like, why does this even bother you? Because if you don't care, you're just going to not go. You're just not going to pay attention. Shouldn't the market decide like whether or not it's something's viable? Because this is a business. People are paying money to go to it. Somebody's paying money to go to this business. They want information. If it's no good and nobody signs up and nobody's there, like then it goes away. But they screeching gave this free advertising of the, of the over 2 million people reached, heard about this event that probably wouldn't have otherwise. 
because of their screeching. And now chances are out of that 2 million plus people who saw that, there's going to be some women who are curious and want to go and hang out and see what's up. Maybe they'll learn something. You never know. There's open-minded people out there who'd be willing to hear something and hear a different perspective. They end up amplifying this and now it's going to make them probably a lot more money than it would have before. They never got as much attention as all the previous, I think there's something like 18 or so 21 cons that they've done. They didn't get this much attention from all those all those conventions combined. This is the most the most talked about, most amplified, most uh, promoted one they've ever done. It's probably going to be the most successful. So uh, maybe next time, if you're so bent out of shape about something that doesn't really affect your life, you just keep scrolling. Just scroll past it. You think that's possible? You think that's something people could start to try to maybe do? That's what I do. Uh, but yeah, I'm done with that. I hope you are too. And if you're a woman who would like to know more about what men are looking for, maybe you should listen to a man. If you don't care, then just don't care. Keep scrolling. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, smash the bell so you get notifications every time I put up a new video. Check out my Patreon, patreon.com backslash John Fitch. And then be sure to go to johnfitch.net and uh, sign up for the newsletter. I'll check you guys later.